Hello guys, so I'm making this video as for your reference, just in case you want to do your revision, you can always play this video, you know, it is, it is better than, you know, reading uh, PPT slides. Well, I think it is. Anyway, so my first video would be on the bisection method. I have explained this to you in my class yesterday. So these are just another names of the bisection method, binary chopping, interval halving and Bolzano's method. Okay, so we actually uh, use bisection method to determine the root of a certain function. So please remember, it has to be a function. If you are given any mathematical equation, you need to transform that into a function. Okay, right, let's move on. So these are the general steps of bisection method. We have three steps here. So the first step is, um, let's say for a problem, initial guesses are not given to you because you know for bisection method, you know that you need to have initial guesses of your XL and XU, which actually bracketing the root XR that you want to predict. So first things first, if these values are not given to you, you need to choose your XL and XU such that the function of both FXL and FXU, if you multiply it together, you will get a negative value. All right. So the function changes sign over the interval. So you need to check if you are getting a positive value, which is more than zero. So you need to choose another value of either XL or XU until you get your FXL times FXU minus value all right less than zero so please remember it's xl times xu not xl xr or xu xr is always fxl times fxu all right for the second step once you got your xl and xu you just need to estimate the root the root here xr so how to do that is by using this formula xr equals to xl plus xu divided by 2. So it's a very simple formula for you to memorize. And the final step is you need to make the following evaluations to determine which sub-interval the root lies. So now this final step is very important and crucial for you to know the values of your XL and XU for your next iteration either for second iteration, third iteration, and so on. So we have three options here. Um, you need to calculate your FXL, and then you need to calculate your FXR. How to do this is just simply substituting your XL into the function and your XR into the function, multiply it together, and if your value you got a negative value which is less than zero then you need to set your xu equals to xr for your next iteration meaning here your xu equals to the previous xr that you have just calculated in the previous um, iteration and then return to step two to calculate your new xr and or sorry, or if your FXL times your FXR, you got a positive value, which is more than zero, then you know that the root lies in the upper sub-interval. So therefore, you just need to set your XL equals to your calculated XR in the previous iteration and then return to step two to calculate your new root for that current iteration. And finally, if your FXL times your FXR equals to zero, then you know that the root actually equals to XR. And then, of course, like I mentioned, if you got your XR, what's there to calculate anymore? Nothing, right? So just terminate your computation. Okay. All right, next. Okay. So if your FXL times your FXR is not equal to zero, so you need to move on with your iteration. But how many iteration that you have to do, it depends on the termination error estimates 
or bisection method okay so you have seen this before ea what we call as approximate relative error and this can be calculated using this equation so this is just a sim simply your new root minus your previous root divided by your new root times 100%. So you will get your EA. So you need to repeat your iteration until you get your EA less than pre-specified stopping criterion ES. Then if you get your EA less than ES, you can just terminate your computation. Okay, so um, that's all for the review on the bisection method. So I will see you in my next video, which I showed an example on how to solve a problem using this method. Okay, guys. Thank you.